on the 13 truck. The third truck on the inside bumps the guy running second, turns him to the outside, and that causes this mess. See the 78 of Fontaine back at the bottom of your screen with William Byron, those two trucks in the back? They're just creeping through, doing a great job. Right there. You can see right there. <laughs> He decides late that he's going to have to duck off the, the apron to miss that piece of debris. Bam! Look at the front end destroyed on that truck. On the other hand, Byron stayed on the road. No damage to that nine truck. He's in good shape to race for this win still. I got the Marco. Final lap sticking away. We are going to finish. Sorry about that. When they get them lined up and we get a reset. <laughs> Excuse me. To settle who's going to win the season opener at Daytona. And remember, not just a win, but with the new chase format, the win carries that extra significance almost, depending on who it is, would guarantee a chance to run in the chase and compete for a championship. What does Shiggy Hattori do if Ryan Truex is able to go to victory lane here? That truck is not scheduled to run full-time. We know they would like to run full-time or they get... They'll have a little bit of incentive if they get to victory lane with that truck. Because to be eligible for the chase, you must meet the criteria. You must attempt to run the first 16 races. They were not planning to do so, but if you win this race here tonight, maybe that does give you that extra incentive to try to make something happen to continue to come week to week. One to go, by the way. We talked about some underdog teams that are never in a position to get a great finish. Look at Timmy Hill. Travis Popple, they've raced their way up inside the top 10 along with Tyler Young. He's there. Brandon Brown, we saw him slide through that <laughs> as well. These are teams inside the top 10 late here at Daytona. Keep an eye on Klugerman right there, third in line on the inside of the 92. I think he got through that incident without any damage. There's a lot of trucks right now in the top 10 that have some damage. Watch out for Klugerman. He knows how to win on these restricted play tracks. He won a Talladega. And Vince talked earlier about guys that narrowly missed disaster, one of which is... That guy, the four truck of Christopher Bell, we saw him spin, almost spin out down in turn one, got on the apron, saved that truck. Then he came to pit road, got in a crash on pit road, was nearly in the crash on the back straightaway. He finally <coughs> restarting fourth with a chance to win for Kyle Busch Motorsports. So give me your pick. Who's going to win it? I'm going to go with Timothy Peters. New crew chief, new sponsor. New attitude, Peters wins it. Who do you like, Phil? I like Johnny Sauter. He's been here, he's been to Victory Lane here before. He has a strong truck. My guy's been to Victory Lane, too. I know it, he has. Both of them have been to Victory Lane here and at Talladega. And, and what about the guy leading, Ryan True? I was going to say, Ryan, did you pick him? <laughs> hey, you don't have to twist my arm. <laughs> you're I mean, gonna... It's been unbelievable what Truex has done tonight. You're taking Truex, Vince. I hope, you're, I hope you like your pick. But just remember the big upset that John King pulled here a couple years ago. Got to Victory Lane, and he said, this is fun. This is my first feature victory. <laughs> I mean, the Daytona 500 is the feature, or the Daytona Speedway is the everyone's <laughs> feature, and he got a win here. How about Travis Quaffle? He's had, what, I think two runner-up finishes here in the truck race. And right now he's running in the sixth spot. This will not be considered overtime. When we take the green, there will be two to go. On the front row, it's Ryan Truex in the blue Toyota. Right next to him is Johnny Sauter in the green Chevrolet. Timothy Peters and Christopher Bell in row two. They're coming to the green. The restart is on. Two to go at Daytona. Who's going to win it? It may have a lot to do with who's in that second row. Who's doing the pushing back there? <laughs> Timothy Peters is very aggressive with his push to Ryan Truex. And look at Sauter. He's trying to crowd down on Truex. A lot of door banging going on at the front. They're still dead even. Christopher Bell lost a little ground to Sauter. Look at that inside line going. You can't push. You Get can't consistently push. Don't get too far out. Right there. Doing good. Doing good. Looking good. Looking good. Three of you are going to break away here now, three of True X. We're not Peters. One, two. We're not done from hearing from Johnny Sauter. <laughs> Johnny's going to have a big run. Truex trying to keep the field behind him. Keep it behind you, keep it behind you, keep it behind you. The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sauter with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. Motherfucker. Oh, oh. oh my God. Coming to the checkered flag, but the yellow. Is out. And Johnny Sauter. Sauter won. Yeah, buddy.
money. Oh God! JBL. <coughs> oh, a sponsor. JBL is a sponsor. Bell is torn up. Wow, what a ride taken by Christopher Bell. That was incredible. That was scary. That truck was running nearly 190 miles an hour when it started flipping. And uh, fortunately for us and for Christopher Bell, NASCAR has done a great job with the safety of these trucks. Johnny Sauter takes the checkered flag and is the winner. Freaking on, official. Sauter, his 11th career win, and his second win at Daytona. Marcus Richmond is the crew chief, and he's oh, huh. What is he doing? Oh. <coughs> I need to pit it. Sorry about my, sorry about my, and sorry about me hacking it, y'all. I think I'm coming down with a cold, though. Whoa. And he did it. Leaking oil. Believe it or not, walked away from it. Climbed out under his own power. Walked away. Watch the ride taken <coughs> in the truck. On the outside, second in line. Toink. Looks like William Byron got jumped by the 86. Take flight. Peters on the inside as Christopher Bell tumbled down the front straightaway. Timothy all the way to the inside of the racetrack. There's, you know, a lot of new pavement down there, guys, and that makes such a huge difference. We don't get any grass. A lot of huge pavement scrubs off a lot of that speed. I count 13 rolls for Christopher Bell. Watch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 